I'm very surprised that they're making a Mighty Morphin Power Rangers video game. Especially it being, like, really looking fucking good as of not gameplay-wise. Because we don't have any gameplay trailer of it just yet, but it looks really fucking interesting. And the thing is, <clears throat> it's Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Just the original Power Rangers. Don't know if there's going to be the White Ranger in it whatsoever, but we do know that the Green Ranger's going to be in it. And I think this game is just kind of corresponding with the release of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers reboot movie of 2017. And I think that's kind of okay for me, as long as the game is good. Um, all I can think of is it could be a, a side scroll beat em up, just like how Scott Pilgrim and River City Ransom and a couple other games like that is. But I don't really know what's going to be like. But I'm still pretty excited for it. I mean, yeah, I'm a big Power Rangers fan since, well, the 90s. But, um, hey, we just have to wait and see. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Mega Battle. Alright, so near Automata, this one, I'm like, I barely learned about the first game, not even a year and a half ago. I don't own it yet. It's only on the PS3 and 360. But, um, now I'm just like, I really want to get the game, but the thing is, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the game before I get the first one. I don't know. I really want to try it out, but that gameplay style, though, it really, really catches me with that eye. I'm like, maybe I should just hurry up and go play the first game. But the thing is, I have to do that with a lot of other franchises that's on this list. Um, and it's not even for, you know, 20 to 11. I mean, like, it's literally there's 30 to 21 and and 10 to 1, of course. So, I'm excited for it and see how it turns out to be when it gets closer to release. Digimon World. The first game came out back in the 90s on uh, PlayStation 1. This one is Digimon World Next Order, and no lie, they don't even hide that this is a sequel to the original Digimon World on the PlayStation 1, and that's pretty fucking awesome and huge, and plus, that game is coming out this month, the month you're seeing this is January, it's coming out this month at uh, the 20th or the 31st, so at the end or 20th of the month, and that's like, damn, holy shit. I don't actually remember today, so there's like literally three or four other games that's coming around that time. And I'm sorry if you heard something like in the background, because there is my dog in my back in my background, in my room. So ignoring that, I'm I'm like a very excited for it. And plus they kinda keep teasing that you're gonna be playing as Agumon and, and Gaumon, which is the main two Digimon we all are aware of from the original Digimon Monster uh, Digimon Digital Monsters. So I'm actually very excited about that other than Digimon Adventure in Japan. So yeah, pretty excited for that. So Cuphead is like a platforming, awesome looking game, and the reason why I say it's an awesome looking game, it reminds me of the good old Disney, like, black and white cartoons. And, and truly, I've only seen like a few. I don't even think I've personally seen the original first one, which is Steamboat, uh, Steamboat Willie from Mickey Mouse. And this one looks just like, it's interesting, and the only thing I kind of like, and, and it's, not, it's not even about the game, it's about like what console is going for. Why is it only going for Xbox One? I can get if Xbox or the Xbox Microsoft company, whatever, is making it, but like, it doesn't make sense. I mean, for a selling standpoint, for like gamers to actually buy it, Xbox One, yeah, it makes sense. But like, if it wasn't by them and it was by some the company, which who knows if it is or is or isn't. Uh, PlayStation Four, PC for peak sake, Wii U, Switch. Anything works better than just Xbox One, in my personal opinion, but still, the game looks fucking amazing. I don't really have much else to say. I mean, it's just exactly what it looks like. It looks fun. It looks fantastic. It looks, well, brilliant. It, it, it's, it's a totally new concept I've not seen in gaming ever. So, yeah, it's going to be freaking interesting to watch in this one. All right, so don't get mad at me. Why The Last of Us Part 2 is this low on the list. I know a lot of you are like, well, it's number one! Or, or it's number, like, five! To the top five! Of the, I don't know. Whatever. Fuck. Now, the reason why it's so low on the list. And I think just because... And also, you can you can be mad at me for this. And I know a lot of you are just going to be mad for me. It's like, oh, well, or you would be like, I understand. Not everyone can play every fucking game in the world. I have never played the original Last of Us. I have played... The first, like, I don't know, 30, 
40 something minutes of the game and stopped it for an episode on my channel. That's it. Yes, it was fun. I was liking it. And that's all I'm kind of really going off on. So, as of part two, yes, I'm excited for it. I might end up buying it day one. Well, it depends what's going around at the same time. But as of right now, I am excited for it. That is all I can say. It looks good. I was like, damn. It's been really three years, you know? <laughs> so, that's all I'm going to say for it. I am excited for it, okay? The Last of Us 2. Okay, there's not really much else to say for this one. Come on, for real. Like, honestly. It's Devil May Cry playstyle with RPG elements, and you're fighting fucking dragons. And it's by Platinum Games. Guys, Platinum Games. Yes, you could all say, oh, well, they slumped in the last year or so. Uh, so, I, 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 to me personally, they, were, they made some pretty good games, and you're like, oh no, they're all shitty, like, like Transformers Devastation, and TMNT, Mutants of Manhattan, I thought they were pretty good, except for, uh, I do remember Legend of Cord not being as great, but still, besides that, they had, like, awesome fucking amazing games, like Bayonetta 2, for peak sakes, and a couple other games, like, just don't remember at the time what was being made. Oh, and I forgot to mention, did you even know Nier Automata, which was, uh, like, a couple entries back? It's being made by them. It's being made by them too, you know? So, um, Scalebound is like God right now. <laughs> I don't know. I, I really looking forward to Scalebound. Because as dragons, it looks like a play style of Devil May Cry meets like Bayonetta in a way. And it has RPG elements and it's by Platinum Games. Guys, that's like four combinations. It's fucking amazing. I am pretty excited for this. And it's an Xbox One game exclusive. So again, with the Xbox One exclusives, I think this is going to be the only last Xbox game uh, that's going to be on this list that is Xbox One exclusive. Uh, yes, there's a couple other games that was on honorable mentions, that's about it. But uh, I think it is. So, anyways, yeah, Scalebound, uh, there's not much else to say. I mean, fucking go watch the trailer. You'll be fucking pumped and hyped and all that shit. So, yeah, Scalebound. Oh, yeah, so you all know how excited I am for Sword Art Online games. So, you don't even know how hyped I am for this one, more than probably the last one. Sword Art Online is meeting with another anime. This anime corresponds with the same timeline. No lie, it has been proven, it has been spoken about. The maker of both shows kind of is like, yeah, they're the same freaking franchise world universe thing. It is Acer World versus. Sorry, it's a, I always say it's a world. That was like the first time I ever called it. Sorry, let's do it again. Excel World versus Sword Art Online Millennium Twilight. I don't know why it's like that name, Millennium Twilight. It just sounds fucking cool. Uh, so anyway, Excel World and Sword Art Online meets. If you don't know, Sword Art Online takes first in the year 2022 20, or something like that. And Excel World takes place in like like 50 or something years later on which is like 2072 or something like that and I, I just really want to know how do they meet in Japan it will be coming out in March so that's very very soon but in us for us we like to no, of course at the same time October November so it kind of sucks for us but I am pretty high for it I mean yes I'm gonna watch the gameplay trailers when it comes out by like at least two people I'm pretty sure it's gonna be playing anyway so they did a sword art online lost song and hollow realization and refragment so, Hollow Fragment, sorry. So, I'm pretty sure it's going to be doing the same thing. Anyways, yeah. Uh, Excel World vs. Uh, Sword Online Millennium Twilight. It's it's going to be pretty epic. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, whoa, whoa, hold up, hold up. Calm down. Calm down. Let me explain why The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is low on the list. Now, it's higher than The Last of Us and a couple other entries, okay? But... Let me explain. When they first announced it, yes, I was excited for it. And now every time I keep hearing about the Wii U, how it's being cancelled, how it's going to be a Switch uh, launch title and all that stuff, like, that shouldn't, like, you know, persuade me not to put it lower. But after, like, so much hype into this game and so much things, I feel like it's going to be, like, I'm so pumped and hyped for all of it, and then at some point it's like, well... I was too hyped, too pumped, too, like, like, anything can happen in the fucking world of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I can get that. 
but just because of that reason, I don't think it's going to be all that, not saying all that great, all that what I was expecting. Of course, I have pretty high expectations for some games nowadays. Nowadays, not saying as in like the best expectation, but for Legend of Zelda, I'm expecting like a, a, a big Ocarina of Time field, but that times 10 or something. Which I've heard the rumor before that yes, it's supposed to be even bigger than Skyrim or match the same size as a Skyrim uh, map. I heard that rumor before. If that's the case, yes, I'm excited for it. Uh, as in, is gonna be my favorite Legend of Zelda game? I want to say it's can it's not going to be. I'm saying it's not. As in, I'm predicting it could be a little my favorite game of all time. Kind of doubt that, but for the Legend of Zelda, it could be. If you don't know for Legend of Zelda, what my favorite game of all time are, it's Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, or Link Between Worlds. I have not played Link to the Past. Yes, you're like, oh my god. I will play Link to the Past. Okay, I'm going to play it. Um, it's actually one of my high priorities to do as of my vacation. I, it's, it's playing Link to the Past. One of them are. Because there's like another 10 other games, but still, Link to the Past. Anyways, uh, Legends of Link, uh, Breath of the Wild. Like I said, I'm excited for it, but I don't feel like I'm that excited for it because I don't want to get let down. So I'm just persisting because of that reason alone. Okay? So, yeah. Spider-Man, Spider-Man does whatever a spider can. Fuck, guys, look, look. Okay, I have been a very gigantic Spider-Man fan since, well, the movie. Also, the animated uh, show on... Fox Kids, if a lot of you people remember that, or I know, like, maybe, like, like, teenage me, or, or some kids I was growing around when I was, like, in, in like, my young, uh, teenage years, watching on, like, Fox, not, sorry, not Fox, Fox, uh, it could have been, no, no, it wasn't, um, on, uh, Jet X, on, like, Disney Channel, no, no, Disney, to Disney, sorry, that was it, um, and of course, probably, like, somewhere else in Canada and all those other channels, but still, big fan of Spider-Man. I own all the fucking video games, um, uh, like, at the time. I've, well, not all of them, okay? <laughs> but a lot of the main ones that we all kind of knew. Uh, I own Spider-Man animated, uh, game. Uh, I know it's, like, several different Spider-Man games. Uh, I own all, like, the main kind of Spider-Man games that you should own. Like, Web of Shadows, uh, Shadow Dimensions, Edge of Time, a uh, friend of foe, you know. I never owned Spider-Man 3, the movie. Never played it, but I'm so fucking excited. I mean, so fucking excited for this game. You don't even know. And I've I've learned uh, after rewatching it again and again, and I don't know why I missed it the first time. I, I'm, I'm I'm probably just like excited for it. I just like I saw it and I kind of forgot about it cause when I realized what game it was. I was like, oh my god, it's not me at games is making this game. Not Activision, which has the rights to the franchise. I think they did before, so I don't know what's going on there. But still, Insomniac Games. It could be because, you know, Sony and, and Disney or whatever is making that uh, uh, Spider-Man Homecoming movie, right? So I'm assuming it's going to be corresponding with that. Duh, of course. Makes sense. So I'm assuming that Activision is still, like... I'm guessing publishing the game. I'm still assuming it's publishing it. As in developing it, it's Insomniac Games. And of course, Marvel has to approve of it. So all of it works out and it's on the Sony PlayStation 4. So that's why I'm assuming it's 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 for all those reasons. But still for the gameplay, it like, oh my god. It just blew my mind away. And I'm a big fan of, of from Web of Shadows and, and Spider-Man 2 and even even Ultimate Spider-Man for Pete's sake, the comic book one. And it's fun. It looks fucking fun. I'm like, I want to play that game right now. <laughs> so you can tell well, I'm fucking hyped on this one. And I know a lot of people like fucking hyped on other games. I probably already said. But for me, I'm just a Spider-Man fan. Okay, I'm a very big Spider-Man fan. For Marvel, it's my number one franchise. For DC Universe, I already told you before, it's Batman. So for Spider-Man, I am very pumped, very hyped. Just can't wait to play it. So Sonic Mania, I, I'm very shocked. I mean, like, I was kind of like the first announcement is the soon announcement, by the way, on, on that day on a, oh, was it Summer? So, no, not Summer, sorry. Like S Sonic 25th anniversary or Sonic, no, Sonic Boom. It was a Sonic Boom uh, uh, thing going on. And it was like, I'm <laughs> I'm like, 
the, the first announcement, which is this game, uh, I was expecting like you know, uh, Sonic Adventure three, like like literally that was, that, was, that was like the whole fucking thing I was thinking about, and then I was really like, oh, it's a two D game, and I was like, okay, hopefully it could probably be better than Sonic CD, and guys, to me, Sonic CD is my favorite game, my favorite Sonic two D platforming game of all time. No lie, I, I really love Sonic CD. I know y'all all probably be saying, it can't be better than Sonic 3 and Knuckles, or even Sonic Rush, or even Sonic Advance, like, 1 or 2 or something. Like, okay, it can be, but <laughs> Sonic Mania, I, I do have hopes, I do have some expectations, and I've, I've heard the soundtrack so far, and I'm very pumped for it, and yes, I am even considering, very gigantically, because I'm a Sonic the Hedgehog fan, it's like little, one of my top five franchises in the world for video games. To buy the the, the 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 collector's edition where you can get Sonic on a Sega Genesis statue, I'm actually very considering getting that. Uh, very very big, and it's coming out in May, so I have some time. And I just want to say, hopefully it'll be really really good because the Christian Whitehead, the one that ported a lot of the Sonic games, including Sonic City, which you can get right now for free on the iOS if you want to really want to play it. Ported uh, that game, and I think it was Sonic 2 or something like that, on iOS, and it was just fucking great. I didn't even feel lag, I didn't feel it was shitty. I felt it was like the best version I've ever played, other than I need some like controller in my hand, but still, <laughs> Sonic Mania, I am very excited for it. Um, that is, of course, not excited as the other 10 entries I'm gonna have on this list, but for this video, or if it's the complete edition one, Sonic Mania, I am very excited for it. I'll be getting it on the PS4, I know it's on Xbox One, but I gotta see how it turns out to be for me. Anyways, yeah, Sonic Mania. Chaos Control!